Hello, hope you guys are chilling and having fun. And uh, as always, if you are new to my channel and have not subscribed to my channel, I would strongly request you to subscribe to my channel so that you get all the new videos that I'm posting in the near future. Okay. So the problem at hand is basically related to uh, chapter five of RC Hibler 12th edition. And uh, it is basically the chapter of equilibrium of a rigid body in 2D. Okay. So the problem states that determine the horizontal and vertical components of reactions at the pin A. Okay. So there is the pin, this is the pin A and the force in this cable BC and the force in the cable BC. So you need to calculate uh, the reactions of the pin and re remember the pin will have two reactions in 2D and uh, also the reaction in cable BC. This is the cable BC. Remember the cable bill BC will always give you one reaction. Okay. But that reaction has to be mandatorily always in tension. A cable will always give you a reaction in tension, never in compression. Okay. So this is about uh, the entire uh, problem basics. Uh, the other thing is that if you look at it over here, we also have got uh, uh, a triangular distribution. Here we have got a triangular distribution. And if you look at this triangular distribution, this is the maximum uh, loading value is 200 newton per meter. And it is distributed over the length of uh, 4.5 meters. Okay. It is distributed over the length of 5.5, no, sorry, 4.5 meters. And there is a load of 100 Newton acting over here. And uh, basically, uh, you know, since it's a triangular distribution, so we have to calculate uh, the resultant force of this loading 200 Newton per meter. So it is to be calculated. The resultant triangular force shall be calculated by uh, the formula. Uh, since it's triangular, half base into height of the loading, which is 200 newton per meter so it comes out to be uh, 450 newton all right now this is we also have known it and uh, remember that this triangular uh, loading uh, resultant force is a distance is some distance from this point uh, and this distance will be called as the centroidal distance of this loading so we can say that uh, this triangular distribution force 450 newton is x bar set it is distance of this moment arm distance is x bar from uh, this point from this point and uh, how to calculate this x bar since it's triangular distribution uh, loading uh, so the centroidal continuate x bar can be calculated as the total length multiplied by since uh, this length is lesser than this length so we will say 4.5 into 1 by 3 if we are interested in this point it will be 4.5 into 2 by 3 because this is uh, the larger length. The lesser length will be 1 by 3. The larger length will always be uh, 2 by 3. So this is a standard rule that you must always follow. Whatever the length multiply, uh, either the length is lesser, it's 1 by 3. It's more, it will be uh, 2 by 3 of whatever the length. So the, the triangular force comes out to be, uh, the centroidal coordinate of this triangular force comes out to be equals to 1.5 meter. Now this is being done. Once this is done, now we can basically uh, also can say that uh, he has, uh, we can say the unknowns for the pin are given by AX and AY. This is assume direction AX, assume direction AY. You can assume otherwise opposite directions to this. Okay. This is also being clear, understood. Now we go to the uh, solution phase. Okay. So again, we have three equations, sigma FX equal to zero. We have sigma FY equal to zero and summation of all the moments equal to zero. We start from this equation, summation of moments at A equal to 0, which is going to be this point. So, uh, the advantage of taking this equation first is once we take moment summation at A, the value of AX and Y, since there is no moment arm, it will uh, nullify, it will become 0. So, it is very simple. Now, we are only left with this unknown force BC, which we can directly calculate it as. So, this force BC has two components, force BC cos 30 and force BC sin 30. Remember, this force BC cos 30 is opposite to the positive x. Uh, this is a very important point. So, again, uh, when we say uh, the moment summation, we are talking about uh, and we say anti-clockwise moment is always going to be positive here. So, this component force BC sin 30 is passing through the point A. No moment arm, it will nullify. It will become 0. 
So force BC cos 30, the moment arm will be 4 plus 3, which is 7. So force BC cos 30 into 7. And look at it, it is fixed over here. So force BC will, uh, cos 30 will uh, rotate this uh, frame in a anti-clockwise direction. So it is plus. What about this uh, 450 uh, triangular uh, uh, force, triangular resultant force? Uh, it is going to be 450 and uh, centroid we calculated x bar from here is 1.5 but remember if the frame is fixed at a so this force will be able to rotate this frame in a clockwise direction so we put a minus sign another force 100 newton and uh, this distance uh, uh, the moment arm of this uh, 100 newton force from the from the uh, this point we can say it is going to be 4.5 meter so again it has a tendency to rotate in uh, clockwise you put a minus sign the whole equation uh, in numerical values there is only one unknown fbc which comes out to be equals to 185.58 newton so we have calculated one unknown which is force bc is solved now we can say sigma fx equal to zero if we sum all the forces on the x-axis it will be ax and uh, the other force on the frame is force bc cos 30 which is uh, force bc calculated as 185.58 cos 30 but remember this force BC is negative on the negative x-axis. So we put minus sign and we calculate 161 Newton. Now we are left with another unknown which is AY. So for AY we use sigma FI equal to 0 assuming the positive y-axis on the top. So we can say this is our AY. Uh, the other force is uh, my, uh, this triangular force uh, resulted this, which is 450 Newton but it is on the negative of the y. You can say minus 450. This 100 Newton is again on the minus side of the y-axis. And this force VC sine 30, force VC sine 30 is towards the positive y-axis. So once this is being decided, we can put it here and the equation equal to 0. And the entire equation has numerical values. There is only one unknown variable, which is Ay. So you calculate and you get your Ay as uh, 457 Newton. Okay. So now we hope uh, that you have understood this numerical. And uh, I thank you very much. And I hope you have a good day. Thanks.